Ammonites were shellfish which could be found in oceans all over the world. There were many hundreds of species of ammonites, which evolved diverse shapes and lifestyles. They all had in common a coiled shell, whose inside was divided into several chambers. The animals inside it only inhabited the outermost chamber. The other chambers would have been filled with water, which helped it to sink, or air, which helped it stay afloat. Ammonites could adjust the balance of water to air in their shells to remain buoyant in the water. The ammonites themselves lived almost entirely inside their shells, with only their tentacles, mouths, eyes, and hypernome being visible outside. Ammonites were predators, but they were slow-moving, spending much of their time floating in the water, or slowly bobbing. Their slow movement speed hindered the availability of food sources for them, and most ammonite species would have fed on slow-moving crustaceans, including crabs or lobsters, or floating animals like jellyfish. They would have captured these animals by using their tentacles, before feeding them to their mouths, which consisted of a pair of jaws that formed a sharp beak. Ammonite species had diverse shell shapes and patterns. Some species were small and rather plain in appearance, while others were huge and very ornate, with shells covered in whorls, ridges, lumps, bumps, and intricate patterns. One group of ammonites called heteromorphids, had shells that were wholly or partially uncoiled, which made them resemble twisted bits of wire. Throughout the fossil record, there is a very high turnover of ammonite species. Both this variety and the visible differences between the shells have been used to good effect by geologists. As each ammonite species is only found at a certain geologic period, it makes it possible to estimate how old certain rocks are. This is based on the ammonite species that are found inside the rock layer. Before the development of more advanced dating techniques, including radioactive dating, ammonites were one of the few reliable ways to estimate the age of rock outcrops. Ammonites were slow and abundant animals, which means they were preyed on by many predators, and ammonites were even a staple diet of several types of marine predators. Fossil specimens of ammonites have been discovered with tooth marks on them that reveal that they were preyed on by marine reptiles such as ichthyosaurs, mosasaurs, and plesiosaurs, as well as sharks. Ammonites were relatively defenseless against attacks, although some species developed strengthening ridges and small spines on their shell, which would have possibly deterred certain predators from biting them. Even if a predator missed biting the ammonite itself, a puncture of its shell would still have been fatal to the animal, as it would be unable to control its buoyancy and sink to the bottom of the sea. Ammonite fossils are abundant and have been discovered all over the globe. In some cases, their fossils are so common that they erode out of the rocks and litter large portions of the seashore or riverbeds. The classic spiral shape has been known since ancient times. During the Middle Ages, people believed that ammonites were snakes that God had punished by turning them into stone. There were even enterprising stonemasons who played up this legend by carving a snake's head on ammonite fossils. Today, ammonites are so familiar to people that they have become a media icon that is used in everything from television advertisements to company logos. Ammonites were a type of cephalopod mollusks, belonging to the same group of animals as squid, octopus, cuttlefish, nautilus, and prehistoric orthocones such as Camaroceros. The earliest fossil remains related to ammonites date back to the Devonian period, and they probably evolved from straight-shelled cephalopods called bactritoids. The ancestors of the ammonites were relatively unimportant during the Paleozoic, and they almost went extinct during the extinction event at the end of the Permian period. The few species that survived rapidly multiplied, filling the void in the marine ecosystem with dozens of their species. Ammonites would continue to be abundant and widespread throughout the Mesozoic, and their fossil remains have been discovered all over the planet, from the Arctic to Antarctica. Towards the end of the Cretaceous, ammonites began to decline in number. The last known fossils date to around just before the extinction event that wiped out the dinosaurs.